<sighs> so second rant for today but um as most of you i'm sure are aware that me and landon are moving <clears throat> we are being very 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 quiet about it so i feel like i can talk about it here because not a lot of people watch me here and um so we are definitely moving uh, out of newfoundland big given uh yeah we will discuss that in further detail once i am out of here but honestly i feel like all eyes are on me so it's difficult to talk about that right now but we will anyway my rant is not about that my rant is about i have about five people that i know five families that i know that live out here in newfoundland oh five six seven well maybe you know it's getting up there it's getting up there anyway um there is one person just one who was uh part of my wedding like my actual fucking wedding to landon <laughs> maid of honor status you know like and uh <laughs> They know I'm leaving, and they've known for a while, and I invited them over so we could say goodbye. And it's been every excuse in the fucking book. Mostly financial. Mostly. Even though she'll travel billions and billions of miles for a man that she's seeing. They're not even together together. They live together, <clears throat> but no status because... <sighs> cheating they they just want to get away with cheating but whatever you do you boo boo <clears throat> and i think that's another reason <laughs> anyway she lied to me didn't tell me that they were living together because she was knew how sad everything was going on with my situation okay there sally joe but anyway totally not even trying to see me and makes excuses every time so they made a suggestion, and I said, don't. We won't have anything available ready for that time. So you've now canceled me twice. Uh, not that important. So I will not be seeing this person before I leave this island. Crazy. But also very telling. Somebody told me something that if they wanted to see me, they would make it happen. And it's so true. So definitely know who your real friends are, guys. When somebody does not put any effort in for you, don't do it for them. <laughs> this person you used to like, love me too. Like, they, like I guess they <clears throat> don't like me anymore because um, I've been very vocal on my opinions on the person she's with. Not because, you know, I'm an asshole, but because when somebody is keeping you as side hoe, but like, you know, dating other people in front of you and all that stuff, like, God forbid if I say, eh, you deserve more, right? Right? <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. It's all about love. <laughs> love. Love when you guys don't even have a title, you know? Anyway, whatever. That person's problem for another day. I will when they reach out, they're like, hey, hey, oh my God, the rat broke up with me. I'm going to be like, oh, so surprised. But what do I know? I'm just the psychic. <laughs> so I will never forgive them for the rest of my life. And that's how that will go. Anyways. <clears throat> That is rant number two. And she'll never even see this. This video will be posted on my YouTube channel. But she has no care in my life about me in any capacity. Doesn't even talk about my podcast. Nothing. Like, she's... I know, like, I don't expect everyone to follow a long podcast if they're not into that. But, like, not even just... I don't know. 
but it's, I don't know, I guess I expect too much. I do from her. <clears throat> so say la vie, you will never see me again, ever in your life. And never will I ever, ever accommodate you. 